This is a brand new 300 amp hour mini by watt cycle. Instruction manual. So watt cycles new 300 amp hour mini 3840 watt hours on this 12 volt battery. It's got some nice carrying handles, comes with the caps, two sets of terminal bolts, long and short, and then some plastic caps, color coded for polarity. Let's measure this to get some dimensions because that's what's unique about this battery. 300 amp hours in a mini format, 3,840 watt hours in a small package. Looks like about 15 inches from the handle edge to the handle edge in length. Just under 10 inches in height and 8 inches deep. And the manual shows a weight of 73 pounds for the 300 amp hour model. You get that all in one box. 73 pounds and 300 amp hours. That's a lot of power in a small format like this. Very cool. So let's find out what voltage it was shipped at. Have these nice plastic caps for the terminals. 13.21 volts. IP67 rated, which is dust and water resistant, and grade UL94V-0 fireproof. So it looks like you could connect four in parallel and then four in series. And then the max connection in series and parallel is four cells, four pack. The BMS will not allow charging current under 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. Also says, you can mount the battery in any position. Make sure to secure and protect the terminals when mounting. Scan the QR code to register for your five year warranty. Maximum continuous charging, 200 amps. Maximum continuous discharge current, 200 amps. So I'm interested in doing some testing on this battery. Imagine the possibilities of a battery this size with this much power. Like for instance, in an RV or something like that, a lot of people go with 400 amp hours. You could do a couple of these in parallel and really have a lot of power. So we'll get it connected to the charger here, get it fully charged, and then we'll do some testing on it. I've got the 12 volt, 300 amp hour mini by watt cycle completely charged up to full capacity. You can see we're at 13.93 volts. And I have this set for 300 amp hours. And unfortunately, this capacity test is not going to give me the exact amp hours in the battery. But it's going to be able to at least show me that it has at least a minimum of the 300 amp hours. Because this will tick down to zero. It won't show me how much beyond the 300 it went. Now for a load for this discharge test, I've got it connected to a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And then I have just a bunch of fans. I've got a little fan up on top there. Got a box fan down here connected. I've got a 14,000 BTU portable AC unit and I won't be able to put that on AC. It will run it on AC, but that's gonna put me way over. I'd like to be around 30 to 40 amps discharge for this capacity test. And then I've got another floor fan right there. So I'm gonna turn all these fans on, see how close we can get to 30 amps of discharge. All right, we've got this fan on up on high as well. Put this box fan on high. Then I'm going to turn this AC unit on and we'll put the fan there up on high as well. So we just have high fan, there's no AC going on. See that's putting us currently at 26 amps of current draw for those four fans on high. And that's going to take over 10, 11, 12 hours. Starting at again 300 amp hours for the watt cycle mini battery. And I just want to find out if we're going to be able to pull at least 300 amp hours out of this battery. We'll see you guys shortly. This has been going for about 10 hours with all four fans and we're down to zero. So remember we started at 300 amp hours. So it's used at least 300 amp hours. We're sitting at 11.93 volts on the battery. And we're showing zero percent. So now it's using power that's beyond the 300 amp hours that it's advertised at. So it's definitely gives you the capacity rating that it's, it's uh, advertised. 
it held up real nice for the uh, capacity test. All right, I've got the uh, Watt Cycle Mini 300 amp hour charged up to full capacity again. We're sitting at 13.81 volts. It's drawing a little bit of uh, amperage out of the battery right now, eight amps or so for my uh, studio light. I've got it connected to this 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter to a power strip and a combination of a induction cooktop and this 14,000 BTU portable air conditioner unit. Between the two, I want to try to pull up to uh, what the instructions claim on the specs for this battery. It claim of a 200 amp discharge max. So I want to get that as close to 200 amps as I can. And we'll see, uh, we'll set it for five minutes or so. I'll set the timer on my cell phone and we'll see how it does. So let's go ahead and we'll turn this AC on. Put this up here on the frost, which is AC. Let's turn this AC up to high. It's going to put us at just about 90 amps coming out of the battery. Let's check this with the amp clamp just for fun. See where we're at. 93. We're showing. I know that's hard to read that screen on camera. 95 there and 95 here. So we're pretty close with both of them. I'll just let that sit there and run. And then we'll turn on this induction cooktop. I'm going to put it on 900 watts. Let's hit start. That'll make a difference. See where that puts us. 193. 194, that's pretty close. And let's start this timer. That might be about as close as I'm going to get without popping something. We'll see how that does. And we'll just time it. See if I can let that run for about five minutes. That's approaching five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. I think that's stress test enough. Turn the hot plate off. AC feels good. We'll just let that run here for a little bit. That's bringing us down back down to 150 amps. That's just AC in our lights. Five and a half minutes, we can stop that. So what do I think about the brand new Watt Cycle Mini 300 amp hour 12 volt battery? I really like it. I love the size and the form factor and even the weight at 73 pounds, I think it was. Uh, I think it's a powerhouse. So I'll leave links for this battery in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself or you just want to go get more information about it. I'll leave a coupon code as well. All that will be in the description of the video. And if you want to see my review on the Watt Cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour mini battery, which also I really like, I'll leave that video on the screen now and you can click that and we'll see you over there.